night story is put Tony's nuts in your mouth. Well, you might not understand me. There are 29 Greek arounds hidden in the story. Can you find them all? Oh, shit, I'm not reading that. Tony has big nuts and small nuts and juicy nuts. He has pecans and walnuts. Nuts without or with a shell. There is no nut that Tony does not sell. Tony sells his nuts all day. Look at the people. He always has a line. Some say Tony's nuts smell great. Some say they taste divine. Oh, delicious. They drive or walk or ride the bus. They come from north and south. To those hot and salty nuts and put them in their mouths. Tony dips his chocolate nuts until they are just right. He knows your mom will take them home and suck on them tonight. Ooh. BJ looks at Tony's nuts and tries hard not to stare. As Stephen grabs at his nut sack and finds a big old pear. BJ plays with Tony's nuts in the closet at his house. Grandpa says he should come out as he pops one in his mouth. Grandpa likes to go in there and take his camera with him. He loves to look at photographs when Tony's nuts are in them. Mm. He swears it isn't weird or clear. He says it's not a crime. Grandpa looks the salt right off of Tony's nuts sometimes. The girls, too, like Tony's nuts. Of this, there is no doubt. Every girl around this town has put them in her mouth. Yes. On the way to school today, riding on the bus, the Johnson twins were in the back sharing Tony's nuts. Back and forth, they open up, hoping that they don't. Get those big and tasty nuts stuck down in your throat. What am I done? Even Mrs. Buttercup, the softball coach, and her special friend will have a go at Tony's nuts every now and then. Hmm. There is no real argument. Mount Rushmore ought to be a monument of Tony's nuts for all the world to see. If you haven't done it yet, you are missing out. Grab a sack of Tony nuts and put them in your mouth. The end. The end.